All right, folks, welcome back. I'm hoping this will be a quick one. I want to talk about what we call this white whale bug. So you know, if I am going along here and maybe I purchased this joker, maybe I purchased this scholar. Well, as long as I'm holding on to this scholar, then the shop is prevented from offering me the scholar again. I'm not able to see another one. I'm not able to get any duplicates. What this bug does is it sort of removes that protection. It removes whatever uh, protection prevents us from getting duplicates and then potentially later on in our run, maybe we can actually find, get offered another scholar. A little bit of history here. The reason why we call it the white whale bug is because, you know, this used to be a very rare thing. We didn't know why it was happening. Um, we didn't know, you know, in the code how to patch it. And so uh, that was, it's the white whale, it's elusive. But uh, some Discord users uh, sat down and they were able to figure out how to do this sort of on purpose, do it consistently, recreate this duplication process. And, you know, that's what I want to talk about uh, today. I should also say we've just got, you know, maybe six days left of this version of the demo uh, in January if you haven't already heard this version is going to come down and then in February we'll get a new version of the demo with new content and then also probably you know under the hood behind the scenes some stuff will change also and so this bug this glitch will probably go away so enjoy it while it lasts you know as we're in you know your last runs of the year here if you want a little bit of spice uh, for your end of the year runs let's try to make that happen all right so here are the instructions this is how it works i have i want to get an extra copy of this scholar very powerful joker so how do i get more of them step one okay i want to go to my collection i want to find the scholar here it is on page two Close the collection before I buy the Joker. That's it, that's the setup. And I'm also gonna pick up this misprint. So if I reroll here, you can see I'm offered the second copy of the Scholar. And you know, I can buy it if I want, or I'm just gonna reroll here. because I can show you we get a second copy of the misprint as well. And so with the setup here, the setup is we'll go into the collection, find the Joker, the Scholar, and then close the collection. That is the setup that is enabling us to get duplicates. It tricks the game into thinking when I purchase the Scholar, uh, I don't actually have the Scholar. Um, and it just so happens that the Scholar and the Misprint, they're both on the same page here. And so I was able to sort of set up two at the same time. Now, also uh, here in the shop, we have a Golden Joker being offered to us. And so if I wanted to, I could pick up this Golden Joker and then try to get a duplicate of that. And so let's re-roll here. Okay, I've got Juggler, Supernova, and then there we go another golden joker shows up as well so it doesn't really matter um, that i stay on this page as long as when i open up this menu i just want to find whatever joker eventually so here's uh, my golden joker and then i can close the collection and then that is the setup that enables me to potentially get another golden joker now now that you know how to do this, let's talk about limitations. Uh, so one limitation is this does not create copies of jokers. All this does is remove the protection, remove the block which prevents you from getting duplicates. So the duplicates need to be sort of naturally occurring in the shop. Um, if you're playing uh, sort of a seeded run, you wanna do some kind of seed optimization, optimize you know routing for a seed you can play around this you can map out the shop 
uh, ahead of time and then you can purchase you know multiple copies of jokers that you know already there are duplicates if you're just sort of playing uh, in a random seed run you don't really know whether or not a duplicate will occur but what you can do is you can kind of set up duplicates so you know if golden joker is a joker that i like to have multiple copies of if i can blueprint is a joker that i like to have multiple copies if i can then when i see it set it up maybe i get another copy maybe i don't all right let's try this one more time here all right as we're going through and we're trying to get back to that shop position that we're at before i will say um, i've used this seed before and i'll put it in the description of the video that way you can find it and you can practice you can try this out on your own make sure you're doing the glitch correctly uh, I used this before uh, in another tutorial showing sort of how to m use these duplicates or this duplicate blocking in the shop to sort of manipulate the shop and potentially get us, you know, whatever jokers appear later in the run, get them appear to appear earlier in the run. Now, we're back to where we were before and we were able to see, you know, we got duplicate misprint duplicate scholar so maybe we'll do something like this maybe we'll go okay buy this scholar okay and then I'm gonna go into my collection here all right I already messed this up I was supposed to go into the collection for the scholar first but maybe I'll still be able to demonstrate what I, what I wanted to demonstrate so I go in here and before I purchase the misprint, okay, there's the misprint. Okay, so I can close the collection, buy the misprint, and then we can reroll. Uh, I don't get the scholar because I purchased the scholar before I opened the collection. Okay, that was a mistake. Sorry about that. Uh, but I should still be able to get the duplicate misprint later. Now, I do see this stencil, so maybe the thing that I'm interested in is I want to go to my collection again, and I want to say, okay, well, here's the stencil. Okay, close the collection. Now I'm set up. Potentially, I could get another stencil. And so we'll re-roll here. And then there we go. So we get the misprint, we set it up where we'd get another copy of the misprint if we wanted to. I'm going to re-roll again. Okay, here's the golden joker. So we'll go ahead and we'll set that up here. Okay, I wanna get a duplicate golden joker. Close the collection, buy the golden joker. And then, okay, maybe what I'm interested in now is um, if I re-roll, I want to get, try to get a duplicate juggler as well. So we'll go into the collection and we'll go to, okay, here's the juggler. Close the collection. Um, I'm not actually going to buy the juggler. I'm just going to show you what happens here when I re-roll. Okay, so it used to be juggler, then supernova, then golden joker. Then we didn't get this egg before, but after the golden joker is this egg. So what happened? Well, when I open up my collection and I try to you know, set up this duplication glitch by, okay, you know, find the scholar, close the collection. If I go in here again, find the stencil, close the collection, go in here again, find the golden joker, close the collection. Every time you go into the collection, if you had previously set up, you know, the duplication possibility, then it'll turn it off if you open the collection again. And so that's what we did. We opened the collection to set up our golden joker. And then when we went to, you know, there was the juggler and I wanted to try to set up a duplicate juggler, I opened my collection again. And then because I opened the collection a second time, that turned off the golden joker and so here's the limitation the limitation is you can 
kind of only set up a few jokers at a time you know if two jokers are offered in the same shop you can set up those two at the same time uh, but you can't really set up multiple different jokers at a time so you kind of have to be a little bit uh, picky about you know there's one or maybe potentially two jokers that i actually care about getting duplicates i can't just willy-nilly make duplicates of everything uh sort of so there is a way to potentially get more duplicates of more different things and it kind of looks like this so let's say i go into my collection and on page two i want to set up my scholar and my misprint okay let's say i did that you know we'll go back to the beginning and we'll say okay we set up our scholar and our misprint and then later on I see this stencil and I want to set up the stencil. Well, if I open up my collection here to the stencil and then close it, then that is actually fine. That doesn't cause us any problems. And, you know, real quick before we end the video here, uh, I'll show you what that looks like. Alright, one last time for science here. Alright, so I'm in here, misprint and scholar. Let's go ahead and set that up. So here's misprint and scholar. I don't have to stop on this page. I can kind of navigate around if I want. Here's misprint and scholar. And then we get the duplicate scholar to show up. Here I have the stencil, and co so maybe if I'm interested in picking up this stencil, we'll go into our collection. Here is the stencil, and without navigating around, without going to page two, if I, you know, as long as I stay on here's page three, or potentially I could go back to page one, and then close this, picking up this stencil, misprint shows up just fine and so that is sort of you know another layer you know a more advanced version of this duplication glitch is as long as i don't go back to where the misprint is i can open and close my collection as much as i want and so you can kind of if you have jokers that are on different pages you can set up multiple duplications that way uh, Again here, I want to emphasize this does not create duplicates. This does not create jokers that are not already there in the shop queue. Um, but if there are duplicates, this will sort of unlock the duplicates that are naturally occurring. All right, six days left to enjoy this. Uh, you know, have at it while you can.